Hey guys, James saying. So this is a video on how to download and install the Carta VR for um, managing 360 video in uh, DaVinci Resolve. So I've been using DaVinci Resolve for a couple of years now since I made the switch from Adobe Premiere. And I got a new computer and I had to reinstall DaVinci um, and my Carta VR was gone. So I went looking for it and it's not available in the same way that it was available before which typically you'd find the link you'd double click on it you know, you'd, you would download it it would go to your downloads file you would double click on it extract all and then install it well it doesn't work that way anymore to me it like literally took me four or five hours to figure this out last night so it, it is installed now, but let me, uh, let's go to, let me, I'll leave a link on this page. You have to go to this stake underwater. I'll, I'll leave a link to this. You've got to get to this reactor three is here page and go to this. See, like it doesn't tell you, Hey, this is to make Carta VR work. So you have to download this, um, Reactor 3 installer. So let's click on that. And I just did this, but my audio wasn't working, so I'm doing it again. So <clears throat> let's get up here to the downloads. And then I'm going to right click and say show in folder. Bring that over here in the screen so that you can see it. So, you know, normally I would like double click on that extract. It's a LUA file. I don't, I don't even, I looked that up last night. I don't, I don't remember what that is. So what I'm going to do is drag this into DaVinci. Let me slide this out of the way. Let's open up DaVinci Resolve. And what you have to do is go to the few. So right, you see this is the problem. So I have some 360 video skydiving. You know that's that's not that's not usable video so i'm going to click on fusion page here let me bring this back in so that you can see it and i'm going to left click and drag this on to the fusion page and then install and launch and so i don't you know i've already i did this last night so um you get to this other page once all downloads are complete. Will you go through and put check boxes and everything that says Carta? And then you say install that. So I may have to speed this up. And and I I couldn't I couldn't figure this out. It's like, oh I I don't wanna go back to Premiere Pro. Okay, so then so then when this opens up, then you scroll down. I'm just doing the scroll wheel. I'm not going to uncheck anything that's already checked. Now I did all this last night. So there, I put a checkbox in everything that says Carta. I don't know if you have to do that, but that's what I did. And then it was install. And then like, you know, it, it, some would go real fast, super fast. And some would take a couple minutes. I don't know why some it would like install and then I had to hit update. But that is how, once you go through all that, and I'm going to close this, then when I have my video, let me go to effects under, uh, I believe it's under open FX. Nope, it's under tools, Cardiverse. There we go. But that's not the way I usually get to it though. Let me find it real quick. Oh, oh, because I'm in this fusion page. I don't, I don't say, I don't usually work in fusion. I don't do a lot in fusion. There we go. Now I can get out of fusion and go back to the taskbar or the timeline. And then when I go to my effects, uh, Carta VR is there. Let's click on that. And there's that Carta reframe. We just, or KVR reframe 360 Ultra. Grab it and drag it in and drop it on. And then when I go to effects over here in the inspector, now I finally got my Carta VR, you know, so you can, 
if you've used it before, you know, change the settings of things how, how you want so that you can get in here, you know, and, and move this 360 video around. So, <clears throat> I, you know, I don't, maybe people look at this and go, oh, oh, of course, it's not hard to figure out. Okay. Well, it's hard to figure out for me. So I figure if it's hard to figure out for me, it's probably hard to figure out for at least one or two people. So that's how you get the Carta VR reinstalled. So right now this is uh, September of 23. And I found, I figured this out. There was a Facebook link that's no longer active. That's been shut down or it's paused. That's what it said by the guy who made this Carta VR. So it's paused back in February. So I'm suspected sometime in January, February, March of 2023, this Carta or this KVR reframe install is done this way that I just showed you as compared to a year or two ago when I did it. Anyway, I hope this helps. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you found the information helpful or useful, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, remember to turn on notifications so that you don't miss when the next video comes up. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.